They were uh, lost everything in the uh, lost everything in the uh, you know all of our stuff. Uh, rock. And uh, you know all of this stuff is still has been cleaned uh, up to here. The uh, we put these sheets out of here because of Thanksgiving. We wanted to look a little bit better. So yeah, the water was here. So they basically gutted. Uh, Surf Pro came in. They gutted. Vacuumed out, they sprayed, treated for mold. Uh, we did, they had to take all of the doors off. We did the best we can to be able to prepare the kitchen to be able to do some mills. You can see the water line on it, still a little bit there. All right, the stove is not working, uh, but we've been trying to cook as many meals as possible. I mean, the oven on top of the stove, the stove is working. So uh, we had to take a lot of stuff out of here. Uh, but, uh, you know, the staff that I hired with, you know, been able to hire, they, they clean stuff down as much as possible with Surf Pro. Uh, and upstairs, they've been utilizing that as an area for FEMA. Uh, Red Cross is here now. And then FEMA wasn't right. FEMA, <laughs> just tell her to come out for a minute. Sure. You. you know, and, uh, the uh, the uh, it's right here. All right, the city came in to see the water line. Yet. The city had came in, but I guess I'm not exactly sure. If they, I know they were very busy, you know. But East Coast came in, and the guy said, "You guys in here? Let me fix it. I own the company." This. So it took them an hour and a half. They got a seat up and running. What you hear is one of the motors. That was that was before Sandy, you know. So they came in, changed things out. And it got heated in there and got hot water going, you know, within an hour and a half. That was like three weeks later. You know, he was working next door and he came in here and did it as soon as possible. Uh, so we got hot water in the building and we got heat in the building. This is one of the thing that was a good room stop. Uh this here. Is the right close on the building? Yes. Hello, hi, so Councilman Scott Mendel. So, uh, yeah, uh, none of the other guys were Yeah, I Oh, okay, yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, there's in, uh, yeah, they're seeing people. It's a, it's a major demand for the IA team to come back too. Uh, the IA team, what team is that? Yeah, they're yeah. registrations and um, to follow up on the cases and get the, um, the survivors information. But they were here for a few days, but they, they got them pulled out. When a lot of people here haven't even filled their paperwork out, and they're still having you know, issues or problems, whether they're citizens or, or not citizens or, or document or whatever the case is, they were there to help them out and they got pulled out of it. It was almost like the same team that they have at the uh, Recreation Ice Arena, but it was here because it was right in the community and a lot of people were coming over, they felt a little bit more comfortable, you know, coming here, but they were pulled out. They were pulled out last week. I called, Denise Ford came down and she's trying to work on getting them, I think, on the 11th. I'm not exactly sure, but we're trying to get that elite team so we can then let the community know if you didn't register or you registered or whatever you whatever information we need, you can come to the office center. So that's basically, I know they, they want to do a new plan on how they want to do this and we want to get the child care back up and running and all that stuff, but it's urgent that we need this here. You know, we need this to stay operating as a, uh, you know, distribution center. You know, Red Cross is seeing people, FEMA is still seeing people, and we need, you know. And I thank you for that. coming down tonight? Yeah. Talk to Jim Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to talk to the council, I'm going to talk to the city manager, I'm going to talk to everybody, basically to kind of let them know the community's demands and stuff, you know, or requests, rather, I would say. You know, but it's, it, it's just, you know, if a lot of the people, we have a shower truck outside, I'll show you that too. You know, it's a, sure, okay. All right, so.
Besides that, you know, And some of them are letting us know that either the landlord didn't do it or they just didn't get a chance to cut the, to cut the sheetrock out and all the mold out. Have any of these um, been homes operated by the housing department the housing authority? Well, the, the ones from the housing authority, I think they're getting ready to start cutting those out uh, this so week or sometime. Housing authority. Yeah, and then the, the uh, senior homes are, are totally, uh, you know, housing authority. But what we've done, because I didn't know the elevators weren't working, uh, what we've done is I've checked in my team, you know, and we went there and hit every door. And these are people that are 90 or 80 years old, handicapped, or can't even walk that have been there since the storm. Uh, so we gave them some food, and there was a lot of people, you know, that uh, just really excited that somebody stopped by to give them a little food, give them a little something. And all I could do is think about, you know, maybe what if that was my grandmother or mother or father. That was in there. So that's that's basically what we've been trying to do. Okay. Give me, uh, you know, the highlights. Yeah, definitely. Speak to speak tonight. Council spoke okay. to uh, Jim will be there. Jack will be there. And again, I can't speak for either of them as to what the timetables are or what the plans are for anything. But I definitely agree that there should be a sit down and we all have to be on the same time frame. Absolutely. And if there is construction being done here, you should have a say. Yeah, definitely the time factor that you'll need to. And yeah. I see what you're doing here now. And you can stop in, of course, anytime, like you generally do. Right. You know, stop in, and, and like I said, now that school has started back, it's a little slow during the day, but a lot of these children are coming home to no stoves right. working, the gas turned off, but they're coming to hot food here that we're trying to prepare. That's and, tremendous. you know, so we're trying to do uh, Thank basically you what we can. Thank All you. Right? Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Take this Thank picture you. of us in front of the building. Thank you. All right, sure. So disregard sure. my voicemail because it's just me babbling now for what we okay. just talked about. But Laura, Laura. It's good to see that things are getting Morning. done here in Long Beach. A little at a time, everybody. Oh, Peace and blessings. Side.